Good morning, students. Uh, good morning, everyone. Today we are going to study about one compartment open model. The second case that is IV infusion. Now, uh, IV infusion is delivered in cases of drugs where uh, the IV bonus is unsuitable. Well, while the IV bonus is unsuitable in cases where the drug has potential to cause toxicity, or in case we desire to maintain a steady state concentration of the drug. Now, IV infusion case delivers the drug at a constant zero order rate where the rate is easy to control. The advantages of an IV infusion are it offers us a typical zero order control delivery rate. It is secondly, it is possible to co-administer nutrients and other drugs along with. Thirdly, the third advantage is that it offers us a steady state concentration that is the fluctuation in the plasma level concentration or at the peak value plasma profile is not obtained in this uh, IV infusion case. Now let us consider this IV infusion. What happens is consider the drug, the drug moves into the blood and other body tissues from there it is eliminated. Now, considering the blood and other tissues as a compartment, there are two parameters, two processes which are happening over here. The first one is zero order infusion governed by RC. The second is elimination which is governed by constant Ke. Now as we can see the drug at a constant zero order infusion rate enters into the blood and other tissues from where it gets eliminated governed by elimination rate constant Ke. Now the amount of drug in body at any given time, the amount of drug in body or the rate of change of the amount can be given by the expression dx by dt. As you know, dx by dt is, is given by rate in minus rate out. So in this case, what we can do is rate in is given by R0 and rate out is given by Kex. So dx by dt becomes R0 minus Kex on differentiation, integration and rearrangement. Carefully, on integration and rearrangement of this equation, we get x is equal to r0 r0 by ke in brackets 1 minus e to the power minus ke in exponential terms. Now, as we know that x is equal to v d c. What we are doing, we are trying to convert x into concentration terms. x is the amount of drug in body, while c is the amount of drug in plasma. So, rearranging this equation, we get c is equal to r0 upon ke vd 1 minus e to the power minus ke t. As we know, ke into vd, this product is the value of clearance, that is, c becomes r0 by total clearance in brackets 1 minus e, ke t. So, this becomes a general expression, marking it as equation 1, a general expression for steady state IV infusion. Okay, please note it now. Just memorize this and we'll continue the next part of the derivation in the next week.